I worked hard to lose close to 200 pounds, then I'm really proud of myself. But unfortunately, I'm not happy with what I see when I take my clothes off because I see all the skin that's hanging. It's shocking to me. My skin feels like emotional baggage from all the trauma that I've experienced in my life. At my heaviest weight, being a nurse and a mother, it was very difficult. But most of my weight gain was after the car accident. When I was 13, and I was hit by a drunk driver crushing both of my legs. It was a nightmare. I spent six months in the hospital, two years in a wheelchair after that. I had so much pain physically and emotionally, and I just felt like if I ate, all those emotions that suppressed, it just pushed them down, and that's how I coped. I gradually just kept gaining and gaining. I was uncomfortable but I was used to the pain and the discomfort. I knew I was lucky to be alive and I was determined to keep fighting. Laura's always been headstrong and she didn't let her weight hold her back. She went on to nursing school against all odds. It took me several years, but I earned my degree and started working at a job that I loved. Eventually I got married and a year later I gave birth to my daughter Adessa and I used it for an excuse to eat even more. So I topped out. Weighing 336 pounds, it was very hard to get around. And at that point, I knew I couldn't give my daughter a sense of normalcy. She wanted me to just have a carefree childhood and not have to worry about her weight. I knew I had to make a change to improve my health. I decided to have gastric bypass surgery. And as I became healthier and the weight came down and my energy level went up, I did begin to ride my bike six miles a day. I lost a total of 181 pounds in the span of about a year and a half time. 